Hey guys, it's Mummy and Gamer here. And today I'm going to be doing another nerf review. Yeah, I know I do these every day. But pretty much this is going to be a sniper um gun. Yeah, I just wiped something off my screen. I just had my fingers flew by it like that. Of course I'm pulling the camera again just because of lighting reasons. Lighting reasons. Sorry, uh, my voice kind of slipped right there. But anyway, I'm going to sit down the camera right now to show you the gun that I'm reviewing. Sorry, I was just um, figuring out which lighting uh, positions to use. But anyway, the gun that I'm reviewing today is the Long Strike. And it's the Long Strike CS6. Just giving you the full name. But overall, um, this is a pretty good gun to use if you're sniping. Oh, and um, remember when I um made that um sniper class review, like on like tips and tricks? Well, since that I don't want to use the um recon anymore. Ah. These bugs are so annoying. Yeah, instead of a recon, I'm going to use a long strike. But overall, this is a really good gun to use for sniping. And I'm just going to put on a scope for no reason. Just to give it that more sniper feel. As you can see, I am using the Vortex gun. I know. Scope. Because I don't have any other scopes. Like, I don't have the long shot scope, which I will be doing a review of that later. I I do have the um, recon sight, but it's technically um, not a scope. Yeah, don't use the recon sight for sniping. I'd recommend that for, like, um, assault. Yeah. Yeah. Overall, this is a pretty good gun. Ah, oh, dang it, I forgot the darts. Uh, dang it. Uh. But anyway, updated, um, sniper class, long strike, and, um, on getting it out of my pocket. The fire strike. This is a really good um pistol. My mom just walked out the door. I don't know why. And um anyway I'm going to quickly get the darts I see a bee right there. Hang on, a spider web. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, I got the darts. I'm just gonna load them into the gun quickly. As you can see, I got the two darts in there. Now I'm gonna load it into the gun. And we're good to go. Well, I'm just gonna quickly make sure it's chambered correctly. Yep. Right. 
Alright. So, I'm obviously going to do one level in one angle. I'm going to stick the camera right over there for a second. Actually, I think it might help for lighting. Yeah, it will. Because I am doing this outside, and there's not all back there. Alright, um... I'm just positioning the camera. Alright, I'm gonna go grab the gun and do the firing test. Alright, one angled and one um, straight. First is straight. Alright, I'm gonna take off the scope. I don't really care why. Alright, one egg. Alright, one level. Wow, that was sucky. Alright, one angle. That was better. Yeah, I think why it sucked was because of this barrel right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try this again, but without the barrel extension. Alright, I'm gonna go grab the darts quickly. them back into the clip and let's do this. Ow. Ow, I just hit myself. With the with the bud the gun. Like right here. Ow that hurt. Alright. One level and one angle. Here we go. Level. Oh that was much better. Alright. Oh, much better. It cleared the bush. Yeah, I think the reason why um the barrel extension um had um lower range was because the dart probably um was like hitting the size of the uh, barrel, as you can see, like it went like, probably, it probably went like doo -doo 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 -doo, like that, and I think that might have decreased speed, and it's probably gonna decrease your accuracy, because it, because the darts hitting the side, because like the darts hit, hitting the sides of the barrel, and. I think that's decreasing accuracy and speed of the dart. Overall, this is a pretty good gun to use. Um, I don't really know if I did the recon yet, but well, I'm gonna go check. I'm just gonna open up a new tab and open up YouTube. Apparently, I had a notification right there. I'm gonna read it quickly. Okay, it's not appearing on YouTube for some weird reason. All right, I'm just gonna check if I um did the recon yet. All right, um. I did the unknown nerf review which was the very very old um dart tag gun it was a pistol all right um tips and tricks on how to be a good nerf sniper that was the next one fire strike and the 
community um, in the video saying that that the community was set up. Okay, then the raider, then the intro, and five things you should you shouldn't you should and should not do in a nerf war. Assault class review and alpha trooper. Okay, so I do not have the recon up yet. But I will be doing that next. Apparently my site has been turned on. Don't know why. Overall, this is a really good gun to use for sniping. Oh, I'd recommend you take the barrel extension off. Because this hit like with this the dart hits the sides of the um barrel and that decreases speed of the dart traveling and yeah overall this is really good to use really good except except for when you have the barrel extension on keep farting for some weird reason. There we go again! Um, yeah. This is really good to use. Although I recommend you take the barrel off. Hey, Dad. Um, oh, great, now it stinks. My dad's going to grab dinner. Does that have to be on your review? I just want to grab there. Overall, this is really, really good to use. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I recommend this. If, yeah, I would definitely recommend this for your um, sniper class because this is some pretty good range without the um, rail extension because this is. So with this on, it's just complete crap. And, um, if you're going to use a sight, then, then use it. I'd recommend a sight for, um, this gun. I wouldn't recommend, um, putting it, like, right here, because that just makes it look, like, that just makes it look stupid and out of place. I recommend putting it here. Cause that just looks better. Overall this is really good to use as as your primary sniper. Yeah. Anyway this was um Moving Gamer here and I will see you later. Goodbye.